if I can just get my breath back. You may remember Steve Andrews from a few weeks ago, because I know you watch every week. He's the self-confessed hippie and bard of Ely, a man who's been described as David Bellamy on acid, a man who doesn't talk to plants, he eats them. He's been going wild in the country. Let's take a look. Here I am on a riverbank, and it's just amazing. For me, personally, I, I can never get over the fact that today we have so many different plants and things which still grow wild all around us. There are many foods which we can get from the wild. There are many things we can use to heal our ailments. There's this stuff, which is gout weed, which, as the name suggests, is very good for gout, arthritic conditions. Now, this plant, the, the cow parsley, you, again, you can eat that. You can eat the leaves, you can put them in salad, you could put them in maybe a soup or a stew. The one thing about this plant is the leaves on this are available throughout the year. Even in the winter, you can still find leaves of cow parsley growing. But you've got to be careful. Uh, with all these plants that we've got all around us, which are for free, we've got a few things which are poisonous, and we need to know which, which those are. This, this plant here, this is the wolfsbane, or aconite, also known as monk's hood, and that is one of the most poisonous plants that grows in the British Isles. Earlier I was talking about the cow parsley and how you can eat it and how it, the leaves are available all year round. Well here's a leaf of it here and as I say that's fine, in fact I'll eat some of it. And that's the cow parsley, the chervil. But right next to it is one I was t telling you about. This is the water dropwood and that you definitely don't eat. That is a deadly poisonous plant. Well there's something else here that has just caught my eye. This is meadow sweet, and again, this is a plant with a wonderful smell. You crush this stuff. Something I love doing. I love to crush plants and just inhale. Oh, mm, that's amazing the stuff that is. That's mm, it's a bit like hay. It's a bit like hay that is. That, that's the, the meadow sweet. But the thing is about this flower that again you can do various things with it. You can dry it off later in the year, and it makes, you could put it maybe in a pillow or in your clothes, and it will give it that lovely perfume. It's very good for things like sore throats and inflammation, because it contains salicylic acid. This is something which you would find in the willow, and you find this in the poplar. What a brilliant day it's been. I've just come a few minutes out of town. I've found myself a riverbank. I've plonked myself down and said, what can I find here? I found loads and loads of wonderful flowers, all sorts of herbs and things growing here. And they're all growing here for free, provided by Mother Nature. Marvellous. Well, in future, I'm going to be going out and about and having a look in other locations to see what I can find. There's all sorts of books available. A very famous book is by a guy called Richard Mabey. It's called Food for Free. I'm going to be having a look in there to polish up on the subject, and I'm going to be out and to see what I can find. I hope you can join me and where we discover all sorts of other marvellous countryside delights. Hmm, interesting stuff, but I'm sorry Steve, I'm not convinced that eating grubby weeds can be good for you.